welcome back to this video. Let's see how to insert image in text in Corel Draw. So let's begin. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you find this tutorial useful and you are brand new to this channel, remember click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more tutorial about Corel Draw topic. So with that being said, let's get started. So all right, the very first thing we want to do here is to see how we can import our image into Corel Draw. So let's begin. So for you to import an image to your Corel workspace, you can come to the top right here and look for this particular icon here, click on it. And when you click on it, it simply means that import icon or you press control I to import as with a command key. Then next thing you need to do is to simply locate your image, okay, from your PC. So I have my image from download folder right here. I'll simply scroll down and locate the exact image I want to use for this particular tutorial. So I'm going to use this particular image right here. I'll make sure I have to select on the image. Then I'll make sure I click on import. Then from current workspace right here, I will just drag it this way. So we have the image right here. I can simply increase the size of the image just like what you see right here. Then we can take the image for one side. So I'm going to still reduce the size of the image because it's, uh, it's a big, it's too big, okay? Now, once you are satisfied with the image successfully import into your current workspace, next thing you need to do is to simply navigate to your type two right here and make sure you select your type two. Then having selected your type two, then you can simply make a type. Then I'll come to the, my workspace right here. I will make a type. So I'm going to type in tiger, all in capital, tiger. Okay, next thing I'm going to do here is to format this text by changing the font size, changing the font uh, name. So for me to do that, I have to make sure I press Ctrl plus A just to highlight all the text. Next thing I'm going to do is to come to the font, uh, font size right here, uh, font name right here, and change my font name. So the font I'm using here is Merich. So you can see the font name. Then I'm going to press Enter key on my keyboard. So the font is going to be effect on the text. Next thing I'm going to do is to increase the font size. And for me to do that, I have to come down right here and uh, I'll make sure I choose like 200 width. So this 200 feet here is still not much enough for me to achieve what I really want to achieve. And for me to increase the font size, I will simply come to the top right here. I'll press Ctrl A just to select everything. Then I'll make sure I type in 300 and press Enter. So this will increase my font much bigger. So the next thing I'm going to do is to simply go back to my move to, then I have to press shift key on my keyboard and select the image. Then what I need to do next is to press letter C and uh, letter E. This allows me to have the two objects match together. Okay, I'm giving you two examples on how you can actually get this thing done without any stress. So next thing I'm going to do here is to come to the top right here and then uh, I'll have to make sure I look for intersect. Okay, having click on intersect, then this is going to happen. Then we, what we need to do next is to select on the text and then uh, we want to drag the text outside. Then next thing we want to do is to simply select on the image and we drag this outside also. Now we have the image insert into this text. Then alternatively, for us to insert image into text, we can make use of power click. For us to do that, what I need to do here is to simply select this particular text and press shift key down and select my image. This allows me to select the two objects. Next thing I need to do here is to press Ctrl D. I just want to make a duplicate of these two objects. Then I will drag them right here. Okay. Next thing I want to do here is to see how we can pop this image into the text. So for us to do that, we just need to uh, make sure we click on the image. Then we have to go to objects. Then we have to look for power clip. Then we go to place inside frame. Then we have to make sure that we select our text right here. Then automatically, everything is going to be placed inside the text. Now, what we can do here, we can edit this particular image to fit in the position and area we want it to be. For us to do that, we just need to navigate to edit tab right here from your power clip. Then it takes us to a new environment where we can adjust. So we can select the image and see how we can perfectly adjust our image. So we can simply resize the image and uh, adjust it in a proper way and manner we want it to be. So once we are satisfied with the image, what we need to do is to simply click on finished right here. It's as simple as that. 
Alternatively, you can also flip the image when you are trying to edit. It's as simple as that. So we have the two image. Uh, we have the two example right here. The first one here is what, when we make use of intercept, while the second one here is when we make use of power clip. So it's as simple as that. I hope you really got value for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big like and also remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell for more tutorial tips and tricks about Corel Draw. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.